Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. Okay, we're live. So... Welcome to Art Friend, the show where we talk to artists about their creative process. My name is Anamika, you can also call me Mika, and I live in Portland, Oregon. I'm going to invite Glenda Goodrich from Salem, Oregon to join me in this um, in this live. Hi. Okay, so let's see. I see that you're there, Gigi, and... Um, can you ask to join the live video? Because invite to join. Okay, here. There you are. Okay. So Gigi, I've known Gigi for years and years. We first met. Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Um, I was just saying, I've known known you for years and years. Did we first meet in a... At Sitka. When I was teaching at Sitka? Yeah, Sitka. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So a long time ago while teaching a workshop, I uh, met Gigi and she was already a very um, prolific practicing collage, mixed media, painter, artist, and um, it's just such a pleasure to get to talk to you. Thanks for coming on the Art Friends Show. Can thank you introduce you. yourself a bit? Yes. Yeah, thank you. It's fun to be here. Uh, it's my first Instagram. I'll just get that right out there. So I'm really excited about that. And um, yeah. as I said, my name is Glenda Goodrich. I live in Salem, but um, I go by Gigi, my initials, my nickname. And I am an artist and an art doula. Like you, I really love the relational aspect of working with folks to explore their creative potential. And I'm also a writer. I have a book coming out in the fall that I'm really excited about. And I work a little bit with clay. And I'm also uh, a soul collage facilitator, which is really yes. fun. So I have ongoing gatherings for um, all those things. And um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I told a friend the other day, I hope it's okay to say this out loud, but I really feel like I'm living my best life right now. Oh, in the 70s. Yes. Yes. I know, but who'd have thought? Yes. You know, you'd think you'd be on the downhill, but no. Mm -mm. Thanks to working with you and um, some of my writing teachers, I've just really felt a, a lovely blossoming. And so, yeah. And yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all. So GJ runs, like, sh her studio in Salem is the whole downstairs of her house, and it's just full of projects, and she hosts groups down there and facilitates these really, um, but I feel like you really live on the edge of art and healing. Um, mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about your background as a healer or in, in the healing arts? Yeah, thank you. That That's, yeah, yeah well, I, um, started out as a nurse many, many years ago. So, and from there, um, I went into more of the business side of health and became um, an, a human resources manager. So I did that for most of my career. And that was healing in a way too, because people in their employment are experiencing, you know, a lot of stressors and there's healthcare and there's work getting with your, getting along with your manager. So, <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, you no, people, but, yeah, people, people, yeah. people and yeah. their mental health. Totally. So, um, and then I, back in the year 2000, I started a practice called um, Vision Questing. It's a ceremonial time in the wilderness of fasting and prayer alone. Yeah. And that really was how I began to heal myself and extend that love for the earth and that connection with the way the earth can heal. Yeah with others through art and through my book that's coming yeah. out. Yeah. Can you tell us about your book? Yes. <laughs> I was hoping you would ask. I, uh, oh my I, God. I know. Yeah. You helped me with the art because there's art in there too. And that was when we worked together and we launched 
member of that body. Oh, yeah. Of, yeah. All your vision quests. And, I mean, I, I feel like per, I, ha, I have little parts of my heart in your, in your work after, after witnessing it come oh. into being. But tell us about the book. Yeah. Tell us about the book. So, so the book, the title is Solo Passage, 13 Quests, 13 Questions. And it's a series of um, essays, stories. It's a memoir about my time on these quests and the gifts that nature brought me and the healing that I did personally through, as I mentioned before, just that deep connection, intimacy on the earth without interruption. That's the idea of the fasting and the, you know, solo time. So yeah. each story has a, you know, a beginning, a middle and an end. And um, I wrote it as a, a legacy project for my grandchildren and great grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of blossomed into more of that. So it's going to be published by a publisher called She Writes Press, which is a women's publishing. So it comes out September 26th. It's available for pre-order. <laughs> oh um, gosh, I remember when this was like... Yeah, yeah I know. An idea. Six years. So, yeah. Mika, six years. But, you know, um, it's been a joy, and I'm really excited and kind of oh, yeah. about yeah. getting it out there in the world. So, yeah. Can you um, share some of the art with us or um, yeah. like a, a yeah. nutshell of the story from your book? Right. This one, this one um, you, I don't know if you had seen this one before. This is called Land, Land Kintsugi. Oh. Oh, I remember to, I remember this concept of Kintsuki. Of yeah, I did a whole series cool. with you. And yeah. this one, kind of the last one, it's got really wonderful texture. And um, yeah. this one is accompanies a chapter about noticing how the earth cracks, breaks open. Mm -hmm. And then she mends herself and be, you know, mm -hmm. there's beauty there. Yeah. In what's left behind, um, you know, volcanic action and rivers, the way they weave through land, and it's all left just as it should be. And so the book is about how um, divorce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, regret and guilt, how all of that carved its way into my own inner landscape. And so. Wow. I draw parallels with what I'm seeing out there in Death Valley. Actually, that one's mm -hmm. in Death Valley. Wow. And what I'm seeing in my own body, because I was nude part of the time. Mm -hmm. It's really warm, wow. really cool. warm in Death Valley. So, you, yeah, you can just get wild and free. You are so fire. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can you tell us? I'm going to just kind of um, tell everybody to pre-order your book now. And yeah. also... Um, Gigi puts together a super luscious newsletter. If you enjoy my newsletter for my list, she weaves stories and offerings, and it's just, it's very, um, I always love receiving it. So definitely get on her email list if you want to be more part of her world. Um, can you tell us about uh, what you're hosting coming up in Salem if anyone wants to come to your workshop or come to your show? Yes, absolutely. I am hosting um, a show at our local art store. It's called the Art Department. It's in downtown Salem. And the show is Earth Love. And I'm having a couple of workshops here in my studio so that folks can prepare work for the show in terms of shrines and banners. Mm -hmm. So I'll just give you a couple of examples. You want to cool. see? Yeah, yeah, of course. An example. And I, ha I have everything here. I have tons of stuff. And people can also bring, you know, whatever they want to include. But you can make like a little shrine of this oh, one. Wow. Be, I don't know if you can see. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. A little gourd and feather and things. Oh, and then it kind of in here. And it closes. Cool. And it's, it can stand. Or I'm going to make it also so it can hang. Mm -hmm. So that's an example cool. of a standing shrine. And this is an example of a banner. Mm -hmm. And. And people can bring their images, and I copy them on um, muslin, run, oh. running it through my uh, printer on freezer paper. It's a process. Cool. You can look it up on Anyway. That's so, so cool. That's an and you can just show up, and, and Gigi has I, all the I, materials. I, I, yeah. I it's like a wonder work workshop. It can be a great <laughs> excuse to buy something. <laughs> and, and, I, used, I remember driving out to Sitka Center, and I used to teach, and, like, 
bringing my entire studio like you know head to toe out to the out to the coast and I just think about like I don't do that anymore I don't provide all material you still do it is such a gift y'all if, yeah if it's art if an experienced art teacher is providing all materials that is a gift go into that <laughs> I should go take a work I love oh my god love sharing yeah. stuff yeah, yeah. Awesome. and this last one, real quick. Mm -hmm. This is a standing kind of an accordion type. Wow! Let me just show you. That's There's super cool. Here. Isn't that cool? Cool. Yeah, I love how you created hinges and yeah, the and whole I, bit. I know I love doing this That's stuff. So cool! Oh yeah. my goodness. So, those are examples. So okay. March 11th or March 19th. Okay. And. Uh, you know, my website is just my name, Glenda Goodrich, and all the information is on there. So I'd love right. to fill it up. I have a few slots left because I want to bombard that um, gallery with just ways that we show our love for the earth because she's listening. Cool. Yeah. She's listening. And when we express our love, I think it's, it's just a good thing. Mm -hmm. Right? There's so much to, there's so much other stuff out there. It's good to just show visually. Our, our love for Mother Earth. So. Amazing. I'm all saying. <laughs> yes. I was just like doing snow angels outside oh. in the snow. Oh. You have like six inches of fluffy snow today. And I'm just like, what is this? This yeah. is am it's amazing. You were out playing. It doesn't always feel like it, you know, in the moment through the struggles of life right now. But I mean, it's this world is amazing. And I, I think that one thing that your art as working with you over the years, seeing your art, your art is constantly kind of like speaking to your experience of amazement with the planet Earth and your your spiritual experience as well. So true. Yeah. Thanks for letting us have a glimpse. It was so fun to um, talk to you. Thanks for people who joined us live and who are watching this in the future. Again, my name is Mika Hops or Anna Mika. And this is Gigi Glenda Goodrich, and uh, yeah, we're gonna sign off now. This is the new the new Art Friends show. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye, Gigi. I'll see bye. you in the Zoom after. Mika. Okay. See bye. you. I'd love to have you inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes, or find it on my website at onamika.com.